So what's up, y'all? This is Coach Rocky here, and I am super excited to be going live. This is actually like my third time going live today, um, but that's okay. Y'all still love me. I'm about to share this video in my group real quick because I'm about to teach y'all something. Teach y'all something. All right, cool. So what's up? This is Coach Rocky. I'm a content and social media marketing strategist. Or like I, I say sometimes, social media content strategies, I help you conquer your content. Um, and that includes the lies that you tell yourself as to why you can't create great content that converts. So content that converts on social media, content that converts through email. Um, I'm really great at engaging and nurturing content. Also telling people like it is, okay? So one of the things I'm on a mission, and you guys have probably seen me looking from here to here, and that's because I'm trying to navigate these screens. All right. <laughs> but one of the things I'm very passionate about is making content very easy um, and making it less of a stress for people. And so I'm always trying out new tools and new different things just for you guys to be able to understand like how you can use it in your day-to-day. -day. And so I think I'm, oh, I got one eye. I got one eye up here. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about that. And so one, I'm big into AI. I've been using AI for probably about three years now, different types of AI. And so anytime that there's a new AI tool that rolls out, I test it, I play around with it, and then I share it with my community. Um, I first got on the Jasper train long time ago, okay, and I taught everyone in my community, um, those in my mentorship about Jasper, and then when ChatGPT rolled out, I started to teach them about ChatGPT and how to use that, and I will say when it comes to AI, it's only as good as the quality of what you put into it, so I will say that. Um, today, I wanted to show you guys a new uh, tool that I've actually just started kind of playing around with with one of my clients, and so I was using Content Fries, and if you're not familiar with what Content Fries is, basically you upload a long form video. So it can be a video you did for a master class. It could be a video maybe you put on YouTube, whatever. And what it allows you to do is to cut up the video into smaller pieces of content. So short form video. And then you can use that for reels. You can use that for TikTok, all that good stuff, right? And so I've been using Content Fries for about, probably about a few months. And then I discovered a new tool, um, which I'm actually going to be showing you guys today. So if it's okay, if I show you guys some stuff, you just let me know that it's okay, all right? Now, I am navigating between... Um, this screen and that screen. So if I miss a comment, I apologize. I'm gonna be trying to track it on my phone. But if I miss a comment, I apologize in advance. So I'm about to get ready to share my screen with y'all. And I'm also recording this for those in my community because I haven't, I don't even think I really talked to them about this yet. So they're gonna be a little jelly. They're gonna be a little jelly. All right, so let's get ready to share. Uh, all right, so let me pull up my browser. And I'm gonna tell you guys about this tool. All right, so the tool is called video.ai, all right, video.ai. And so you're gonna see me, I'm actually gonna show you how to set up your account and then I'm going to um, show you how I did a video. So I'm gonna skip the video part, the upload piece, because um, it takes a while for the video to upload. So I have another account that I, uploaded a video whatever y'all get the point okay so you get to choose who you are of course this is more so for their tracking um who you work with it gives them an idea of you're going to need different user accounts and so i'm going to check all of these and hit the next button how did you hear about us um i can say others or you know i'm gonna just say google i'll just say google all right so once you log into it's like we're personalizing your account and it's going to take a few seconds for them to really like, you know, get your account ready. But once it's ready, it'll you just hit get started. And it's there's a few training videos in here that will show you how to utilize the platform. But when you first sign up, you do you can sign up for a 14 day free trial and you get 75 minutes free. OK, at any point you can upgrade. Um, you can upgrade your account and the pricing on it is actually pretty reasonable. It's it's, it's not bad at all. Um, I can show you guys what the pricing is at some point throughout this. All right, so here are the different places where um, these are the different types of videos that they can create for. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, 
TikTok, LinkedIn. So these are the different places that they can, um, how they'll chop it. Basically, the dimensions is really important, right? So I'm going to do upload a file. And so you can either put your YouTube link in here or you can choose a file. I'm just going to choose a file from my computer that I just did. This is a live video. So this is a live video I just did today. All right. I just did this live video today. And so I'm going to do start import. So as you go through it, it's going to ask you what formats do you want? So I'm going to choose all three. And it's going to it wants you to pick three of these templates. So the first one is square. So you can pick any of the three squares. And so I'm just going to click some that I like. I can't remember what I picked on the other ones, so I'm just going to pick what I like. And I'm going to choose this one. No, I'll choose this one. I don't want that one. And y'all probably know this is probably the hardest part, like actually choosing how you want things to look. All right, so I chose three there. So let's go here and choose three. And I'll just do this one. And now it wants me to choose landscape ones. I'm going to choose this one, this one, this one. And then you're going to hit continue. So after you hit continue, it's then going to ask you to personalize your video. So what do you want to put as your handles? So for the most part, um, all of my handles are this, except for I primarily use my personal, like I use my personal Facebook now. So I'm going to do that, boom. And so that's all my handles. And then I'm going to hit done. And so I'm going to save my preferences for future videos. Um, and so it says, and you are done. We're processing your video. This can take up to 30% time of your video's length. We'll send you an email when it's done. And then you hit go to your dashboard, okay? So once you upload it, as you can see up here at the top, like my video was an hour long, so that's 60 minutes. And so it took pretty much that time off of what's left in this trial. And it's gonna say, we'll update you on email once we finish processing. So what I really love about this, and I'll just, just explain it to you guys. First off, if y'all are liking this content, give a girl some stars, okay? Give me some stars. I would appreciate the stars. <laughs> but what I really like about this uh, program is that I don't, I, all the video, so the differences between this and Content Fries. On Content Fries, I actually, and I'm over here in the group. So on Content Fries, I actually have to go in and actually like edit all the videos myself. So I have to go in and choose where I want to start what I'm saying and stop what I'm saying for the, the videos, the short form videos. I actually have to um, copy all, it transcribes it for me, yes, but I have to copy all of the transcription and I have to um, put that into like a save folder on Content Fries. And so it's a lot of work. Yes, it's super easy what it does for you, um, but it's also a lot of work um, when you're using Content Fries. So that's probably one of the reasons why I like video.ai um, because when you see it, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it for you. Now, of course, you can go in and edit if you don't like it, but it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it for you, which I can appreciate because I don't want to have to think about every single thing that I'm saying. Um, you guys are probably like, okay, what are some other ones that I've tried? I don't even, I mean, it really is up to you what you like, but this one is the best one to me. Okay, I'll just say that. It's the best one. Um, all right, so I'm waiting on this one to finish uploading. And let me pull, I see I got someone watching. Hey, y'all, what's up, what's up? If you are just now joining or you're watching this on the replay, I am sharing AI with you. That's it, right? So I'm sharing my favorite tool right now when it comes to taking long form video and converting it into short form video for reels, for YouTube shorts, for TikToks, um, all that good stuff. And so I have been using Content Fries for probably about maybe five or six months. And I just started using this tool, which is video.ai, um, which I absolutely started to love. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. All right. I wonder if I can tag people on my thingamajig. All right, cool, cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log out of this one and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like.
log out and then I'm going to log into my other one. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so when it's done, it's going to say ready, okay? So let's review the clips. I'm going to pull up. So it's going to basically have a bunch of clips for you that it pretty much puts into your video format that you selected. And so it has like chapters, um, like for your video, if you want to post it on like YouTube, things like that. So it, it actually put all of this out here together. Now, remember I told you guys that if you don't like something, you can do create a custom clip and you can create a custom clip from that. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's look at one of these one of these videos I know you're probably like what does it look like girlfriend yes what does it look like so let's look at this one I'm gonna do preview now what I will tell you is when you um because it's it's using AI it's being very intuitive um it's I don't want to show this so I'm gonna do a different one because it's showing the, the AI and it's being very intuitive it's also getting your scripting. So it's transcribing it for you too as well. And so you can like copy this and it, not all of it, but you could copy parts of this and you can maybe make a quote out of it um, and like put it on a template or something that you have on, um, on Canva. So let's look at this video real quick. And I'm gonna, hopefully you guys can hear it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let me show you. I got bacteria. See, faith is also a virus. Once it spreads in you, you become stronger. You believe that you can do things. You start having this, you have this strength that you never even thought that you could have. You get adrenaline. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. You get adrenaline. You start to say to yourself, I ain't got to dance in the real, but I sure know how to talk about what I'm talking about. I ain't got to be the most uh, person that want to go live every week, but I know I can go live once a month. See, once you, once you allow the fake virus to flow through your veins and flow in your system, you can literally do anything. So I am infected with faith. I need somebody to understand I am infected with faith. Ooh wee. Okay, I, I, I get excited about my own videos, y'all. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. So this is a video. I I didn't do anything to this. It made the video itself. Um, there's different templates that you can choose. Um, like this one, faith and fear are both virus. Um, and I, I it's probably viruses. Y'all don't don't trip me up on the plural part. Um, but you can choose different templates that you want to choose if you're using it for social media. Um, I like this one because I like green and I like black. I'm just, that's just me. But whatever works for you, you can pretty much choose whichever template that you like in order for you to post it onto social media. Now, here's what you could also do. You could also hit edit and download video. So maybe you want to edit this video a bit. So it's going to pull up. And so maybe you want to cut off some of what it was talking about. So let's see. I'm going to boom right here and I'm gonna shorten it so let's see it's also awesome. and I'm gonna move it just a little bit see faith boom right so I can edit it um I can edit it and if there's parts of it that I don't like I can just edit it and make it into parts that I do like right so again I can go through these templates and I can choose whichever template I like um if you want this one, you know, if you like this one, that's perfectly fine. Um, and, and I would say make it you like if this is if you're not really into all the colors and everything, make it you. What I will also say for reels um, and then for shorts and for TikToks, people do like it when they can see you full on. So I would probably choose a template that's a bit more like this um, or you can actually see me. Also a virus. Once it spreads in you, you become stronger. Now, here's what I will tell you. I've tested this out to see how the words match up with my voice and I'm still playing around with it. And so I've noticed that on some of the videos, it doesn't actually like mesh really well. On some of them, it do. Um, it just really depends. Um, <laughs> it's it's one of those things where you it's AI. So you just got to 
train it, figure it out, play around with it a little bit. And so you can go in and you can do your brand kit colors. If you want to add those in, you can change the color for like the background of the picture. Um, let me go back to templates and let's see. Maybe I want to make this bigger. So you see that you can make it bigger. Um, or I want to say, I don't like that one. So let's go find something different. So we could do this one. And here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm done with this one, I'm going to play it one more time to see how it looks. You believe that you can do things. You start having this, you have this strength that you never even. Boom. All right. So I'm going to download the video. Now, here's, here's my thing. 1080p is the best for short um, form content for your videos. 1080p is the highest quality. It's what you want to um, post on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, on, um, on shorts. You want to use 1080p, but for the free version, it only allows you to do 720p. So I will tell you, the quality may not look as great, but let's let's do this. We're going to download it and we're going to see what it looks like. OK, so I just hit the confirm button. And let's see what happens. Your video is exporting. Boom. You can find your home. All right. Boom. Right. So let's see where it's at on my computer. Downloads. Uh, let me find it. Allow. Boom. Here's the video. So let's look at it. See, faith is also a virus. Once it spreads in you, you become. So I will tell you right now, I'm not really a big fan of the 720p. So if I'm using this, if I'm a content creator, I'm definitely going to upgrade to the 1080p. And that's going to take your video to a whole nother level. Um, and so I highly recommend for anyone, if you're using this or you're going to use any type of video cutter, whatever, make sure you're using 1080p. Um, I do prefer to use 4K on some of my videos, but it just depends. This was an Instagram live, so I'm cool with 1080p. But if I'm doing like videos on my camera or on my phone, I actually prefer 4K. It takes up more space, but I do like 4K. All right. So y'all, I hope that you found this super beneficial. Um, I hope that this video has helped you and anyone who's struggling with short form content, you can conquer this too. OK, like you can literally go if you do lives and you do if you go live on LinkedIn, you go live on Facebook or Instagram, you can literally upload one of your videos into here and then you'll be able to cut it up into short form video that you can use as reels. And so utilizing it for reels will give you more reach, you, you know, gives you more engagement, um, even for YouTube shorts. So I'm actually going to take this video that I just posted um, that I just downloaded and I'm actually about to post it on social media. So after I'm done with this, y'all are going to see this video pop up. Um, and if you have any questions about this program, this, this video, video.ai, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to stop sharing since I'm done with this tutorial. But guys, I appreciate you for tapping in. I don't see any questions or anything in the comments, but I appreciate you for tapping in. I appreciate you for being engaged with my content. And remember, you can conquer all things. You can conquer all things, okay? Including your content. All right, y'all. Y'all have an amazing weekend. Talk to y'all later.